Hello my friends, welcome to the PC Elitist, a channel dedicated to game reviews and commentary, always from the PC perspective. My name is Woodsy. My name is Shepard. And today we'll be talking about a subject that comes from a CNN article from all places. Of all the places in the world. <laughs> about how us gamers, we want shorter games. We don't like less, to finish video games. Less epic games. We're quitters. CNN is calling us and you all, all 43 of you, quitters. And Casey Williams agrees. Casey Willis, a navigator from Atlanta. Willis, I'm sorry. Willis. You son of a... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> CNN wrote an article a couple weeks ago on the 17th, something like that, in which they claim, here are the reasons why gamers don't like to finish video games. Right. And the points they give, the reasons why we don't like to finish games, interesting. Yeah, and, and I, I will say, their use of statistics and data, staggeringly impotent? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> they just Not make, at all like CNN. They just make up numbers. <laughs> well, it's interesting, they talk about stuff from ten years ago, and they say, they basically are, the crux of the argument is that everyone says, it's like an industry standard apparently, that only 10% of gamers actually will finish your single-player campaign. Yeah. How do you get those statistics from 10 years ago? I know it's all, everything's online now, so you get an yeah. achievement. I appreciate them updating the data once every census, basically. <laughs> Real hard-hitting journalism. Right. Blake Snow of CNN. I'm calling you out, dude. Your name is Blake Snow. <laughs> um, but... The entire argument is that uh, that we don't have time for games anymore. If you read the article, which we're going to post, on yeah, the we'll, we'll of this give channel. you a link in the details of the video, right? Which I hope everyone goes and reads. Um, is that no one will finish the game nowadays? Only ten percent of people actually finish a campaign. But the article then continues on later to talk about how the average playtime for Call of Duty Black Ops is sixty-seven hours. Yeah. So on the one hand, there's no time. Me and you, we don't have time. We don't have time. But everyone's sitting down to play Black Ops. Yeah, apparently. Well, one of the first reasons they give, which I think ties into why people play Black Ops. First of all, they make the distinction that people don't finish single-player campaigns. But multiplayer content, they do discuss. They're saying that gamers are getting older. That the average age of gamers is increasing. I think that that is true, especially with the advent of the Wii and reaching out to more casual, more family gamers. That is true. They say that the average gamer is 37, which I think I said was the age of the guy who remembers Bob and Threadbare <laughs> in your previous video. The average gamer, 37. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that. I... Without doing the math, yeah. it just seems really hard to get an average of 37. Yeah, for every gamer who's 10... You'd have to have a gamer who's what, sixty four <laughs> to right. make to make the math work. They they also he also notes that people don't have time to get into these digital gameplay games because they have other things they need to do techno wise. Update their Facebook, talk to friends, add their blogs and tweets. Okay, if you're blogging, tweeting, and you're Facebooking, and it's getting in the way of your gameplay... You're not a real gamer. You're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> no, you're not a PC elitist, that's for sure. I mean, if you stop playing games to maybe do an informative game channel on YouTube... <laughs> yes. You're a gamer. Yes. You're the ultimate gamer. <laughs> yeah. But tweeting? No. <laughs> and if any of you tweet, sorry, you're not welcome here. Another thing that this article brings up is that... Three people on Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> they say we have, quote, a glut of games. Basically, that whereas 10 years ago, thank you for the recent data, you had money, a, a fewer number of games. And so you appreciated them more, you had more time to complete each one. Now what they're saying is you get a new game, you're playing it three months later, a new game comes out, and your attention is shifted. Right. I suppose that's true in the sense that, yes, there are more games, but... How many gamers really are willing to pay $60 for a game and then just abandon it three months later, unless it's not fun? Like, for example, a game they mentioned, Red Dead Redemption. Which is what they use the entire article. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Red Dead Redemption, I apologize if anyone like loves that game, and I see the merit to it. It's, it looks like an entertaining game. Nice open sandbox. Yeah. 
No depth in that game. Mm -mm, None. And I gave it a chance. I really did. (laughs) (laughs) And that comes in where I think the article completely shows that it's not anyone who actually plays games was involved with this article. Yes, Blake Snow, you are not a gamer. You do not play games. Uh, Because of the whole argument that games are less sophisticated now, um, there's no depth. There's no reason to keep playing. You've played Red, Red Dead Redemption... You've played it for 10 hours. You pretty much, besides really, really wanting to see the end of that story, you've pretty much exhausted the gameplay. Yeah. There's no crafting system. Um, It talks about how very costly it is to make games. You know, like long campaigns. But you don't necessarily need a long campaign if the game has depth, like Minecraft. No one needs a long campaign and great animation. Yeah. An animation team. You don't need it because you have an octopus that looks like a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm have... not knocking the you, animation. You have stick like... figure zombies. <laughs> yeah, a game like that. How much money, cash dollars, do you think that guy invested in that game? I, I couldn't tell you, but... 16. <laughs> and that Enough was, that was one Chevrolet. That was game. mostly for Cheetos and Pepsi while he was designing the game. <laughs> Exactly. Shorter. I mean, he he talks about how it could take a hundred people two years to create six hours of gameplay. Okay, what if it's the most beautiful gameplay you've ever seen? If it's six hours and it has no depth, I'm sorry, I'm I'm just not going to play it. You know, right. games now are so so adamant about looking pretty, and but we understand. I mean, the graphical limits are being pushed by some games, right? And so there, there's competition out there for visual effects. But give us a game that I can play over and over and over again. Right. You know, like Mirror's Edge. The game could have had a little more depth, but I'll st- I'll keep playing that game because the mechanics are so wonderfully done. Is it? Do you think it could be the fact that games have gotten easier, which is another subject of discussion? Yeah. And games are more on the arcade style, which is another subject of discussion yeah. <laughs> that we'll be getting into. But games are too easy and there's no depth is basically what I'm getting at. So, like it points out, people just go to multiplayer, which by virtue of being multiplayer is harder and has more depth. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's almost a cop out though to to say that your game has replayability because of the multiplayer. Well, it yes, thank you by virtue of it being multiplayer and round based and team based, you're going to have replayability. That's kind of a very cheap way to achieve replayability. Right. It's kind of like if Tiger Woods said, "Go into career mode. It has great replayability." Well, yeah, I want to play an entire season worth of events, so you're not really giving me much. <laughs> I I made an analogy in my own head about the article and he comes to the conclusion that no one's finishing it therefore you need to make less of it and everyone will be happy yeah that's like saying i went to this restaurant and they gave me a steak and it sucked so i only ate half of it they should just make the steaks half the size (laughs) and everyone would be satisfied what you're doing is subsidizing the short attention spans of gamers if that's what you want to call it if you're saying games or gamers can't finish games then why the hell should we spend so much money making a 20-hour video game? Let's spend... But if you follow Activision's example, let's spend just as much money, if not twice the amount, to make a six-hour game. Right. I mean, if you want to go like the Battlefield 2, Battlefield 2142 route, don't even make a single player. Go all multiplayer. You're putting all your eggs in that basket. And 2142, for example, pulled it off beautifully. But is that the future? I mean, I guess it's the future of shooters. I don't think you're going to have too many story-driven shooters in the future. Well, I think it's because shooters, like we talked about in the controller, it's so hard to add new elements to a shooter game because you're using up the entire controller already. It's hard to just add, like we said, just adding a leaning aspect. It's difficult to do. And to add a whole new dimension to the game in a fast-paced game like a shooter, it's hard to do. So they become very much the same just the multiplayer is different. Mm-hmm. So why are people going to finish the, the campaign? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that what you touched on earlier about the difficulty of a game, I've you and I have talked about a great deal about difficult games in our lifetime. Twisted Metal Black, I've mentioned. <laughs> Damn near impossible, that game. But difficult games, you want to finish them. Because even if you tell people you finish the game, they don't care. You know, I got this. Like the time trial you did on GoldenEye. Yes. <laughs> Your story of glory. <laughs> GoldenEye 007 N64. <laughs> Whenever that game... I was going to say the date, but I don't remember when it came out. <laughs> Getting the invincibility mode by completing um, Factory, I think is the level, second level, 
in two minutes and five seconds or some ridiculous thing. Did it once, can never do it again, but it's my claim to, like, I did it! I did it once. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so I think there's a lot of reasons that games are getting shorter, um, and I think it's from the, the, I think it's developer side more. I think there is a lack of attention span by certain people, but I think it's because games have just required less from its mm-hmm. audience. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably a chicken and the egg thing. Is it, Did we get a shorter attention span so they cater to that, or do we have a short attention span because they made shorter games? I think you could make decent arguments for both, but it's incumbent upon gamers to demand longer games. Right, and which I think everyone does. I think they do, and I except think when we, for... when we touched upon the <laughs> except for Blake Snow and Casey Willis from Atlanta, <laughs> I hope Casey that you find us and that you post on our channel so that we can berate you for being an idiot. <laughs> Blake, said, I know my friend Casey plays games. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's call him. Okay, so click on the link in the details. A CNN article talking about why we all are apparently so stupid and ADD stricken. <laughs> Uh, Let us know what you think, and tell us just how wonderful Blake's writing really is. If you want to join the conversation, uh, click subscribe first, (laughs) and then comment. Actually, we have a new rule. You have to to recruit ten more subscribers before you're allowed to comment. (laughs) No, we're just kidding. We actually really do appreciate all the uh, the support we've been getting. Um, Really glad to see it. It's very encouraging for us. I know we've said that before, and... We're going to say it again. It's just we really are excited every time we see someone subscribe and offer up their input. Really insightful stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you subscribe, Shepard texts me. So if you want to run up my phone bill. Well, that just everyone. makes me sound like I have no life. So thank you. <laughs> I step away from my very busy, demanding job yes. to text him. That's how important you guys are to us. <laughs> but anyway, go check it out. Please contribute you to the son conversation. Of a bitch. <laughs> And uh, we plan to do a lot more uploading in the future, so please uh, keep checking our channel. Um, Anyway, my name is Woodsy. My name is Shepard, and this is the PC Elitist, signing out.